would you change about the Penn State program if you could change one thing? Who would I change? Uh, I, actually, I'm, I'm breaking the rule right now. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I gotta take my earrings out. Um, that's that's the main thing I would change. That's the main thing I would change. I I love to have my earrings in. It's it's like a part of me, you know. Uh, like I guess I didn't even notice I had them in until you said that. But uh, that would definitely be the main thing that would change is earrings. That's that's just I don't know. I just I love to have my earrings in. <laughs> but now you're representing Penn State. What's that mean? As far as for the earrings? No, just in oh. general. It, see, it seems like you have to be on your best behavior, and that's it turns out to be a good thing. But at first, it's like I'm not cutting my hair to come there. I'm not yeah. doing this. I'm not. <laughs> no, I mean it's definitely. Um, I guess works out in the long run. I mean I think a lot of us. Um, well, everyone, probably everyone on the team has aspirations to be a professional athlete, but um, after that, if you know, you're not going to do that, or well, everyone who wants to try to work in the business world and um, do things like that, and I think as a program, this kind of gets you ready to, um, to be out there in that business world and realize some of the, some of the things that um, you know, the corporations are going to expect of you. It, sound, it may sound dumb, but I remember my first, my first touchdown ever on this field when, um, when I, I think I was like seven years old maybe. It was a left tight end around. And I was a 24-yard touchdown down in that end zone down there. Uh, and it was against our actual rival school, Manaka. And I don't know, I just remember that for always for some reason. And um, I think it's something that I, I guess will stick with me forever. And they had a little play called left end around. He was number 24. And I just remember he had these feet. I mean, they were like this big. His feet, like, I think he had size 12s maybe in like second grade. It was not that big, but I mean, it was ridiculous. The hardest thing was is that when Derek was in kindergarten, he wore men's shoes. So those cost twice as much. And um, I just remember him running down the sidelines and cutting back and doing the whole, just like a little little highlight reel. But uh, football was never really his thing as a young kid. It was always basketball, I, at least in my eyes. I, I felt that he was gonna be a basketball player. and um, Maybe once he got to high school as a sophomore, I was like, wow, I was like, you know, football may be his ticket. I, I think it's a good place. I think they definitely want to make sure that the kids get their degree. You know, that's very important. And I, I think that, you know, I like the integrity that comes with Penn State football. You know what I mean? I, I, I think that, um, you know, Joe has a lot of old school ways that, you know, he gets criticized for, but I think that a lot, I, I think it's good. You know, I, I really do. I think that it, it really helps them. I, I really do. That That's my opinion, but I think they have a good program and, and, and they definitely want the kids to graduate. I, I think it's more than just you're here to play football and, you, you know, do everything else at a, you know, just to get by. I, I think he wants the kids to do well, you know, not just to scrape by just so they can play football, you know. I, I think that's important. I don't think you see that too much these days. I really don't.